All right, everybody. Hello, I am Tom, and you are watching me play Cyberpunk. Uh, just a little preface before we start. Um, it's probably obvious by the way that this video is edited, but this was all done in one playthrough. This is the second half of my play session. Um, it just narratively made a lot of sense to cut it off where I did at the end of the last episode. So this episode, we're going to go into it fresh uh, for about an hour and a bit of content. All right, preface out of the way. Let's good. Let's get back into the story. Last time on Cyberpunk Ball Z. No blaze of glory for me. <laughs> What's that, the title screen after what, six hours? Seven hours? Actually, probably close to eight for me actually playing, but for you guys, like six hours, I think. Hey. Am I dying? Hey. You all right? Never been better. Sure don't look it. Keanu. <sighs> but a smooth voice. Hey, hey, we're chill. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Interesting. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. Speaking. Uh huh. Got picks? You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What crawled up your ass? Okay. I want it today. Johnny! Wait up! Don't do this! You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. Shh. I'm gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. This is really interesting. So I'm guessing, from what little I know of Johnny Silverhand, is he like... Interesting. So I guess that chip we put in their hand is like his consciousness, maybe? Alright, oh, yeah, this is interesting. Seems to be a terrorist, a freedom fighter, same thing. Target range of 
Payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation. Tower crumbles. Chaos. Screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. Is grass green? Do birds fly? Do cats eat bats? Do rats shit gnats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on! Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on. He's a goddamn extremist. Get ready. Only one way to go. Forward. Oh, I want this hand cannon. Two in one, baby. Oh, he relides like a fucking badass, too. She sat it with thimble, she sat it with care, pursued it with forks and help. Johnny, Halo. Bushido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up, we got the Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite Income, run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! This is fantastic. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. Fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes! Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. I think it's literally, like I used the word hand cannon before, literally a hand cannon. Look at this shit. Bye bye wall. Closing in on the access point. Breaker. 
foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take and a look. Turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Get the roof quick. Do I have to go that way or can I go out here? I have to go up the top. I thought it would have been cool if I could just jump from the... <laughs> to the top, but whatever. That's why. Shit! That's Adam Smasher! He's a lot smaller than he is in the future. Murphy! Door sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. Johnny boy, told you I'd end you someday. Damn. Well, that was a sequence. Still going sequence. Gonna be a long episode, by the way. Hi, mother, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still Try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <sighs> Don't look too pleased with your efforts. Hatsushi. Jokusetsu hanashiyosu. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you freak. Tell of a line. Soul killer. Ah. Well, 
Whoa. I'm in the Sorobuck Su Suburaka room. The glitched the fuck out version of it. And you, who are you? Literally thrown in a dump. Heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. He was mine. Arasaka-sama, Otou-sama no sasugai hao mizukemashita. Kono onna de machigai arimasen. Hai. Help me. Quiet. I mean, I grit she's gone through a hell of an experience, but I feel like you should at least tell this guy that the son killed the father. He may not believe you, but like... You hear me? I need your help. Alright, so I probably cut this out of the video, but I died. Um... <laughs> I thought it was, like, effectively futile what I was doing. Like, I was shooting the guy and I wasn't noticing damage numbers, but I think it's just because my, uh, my optics are fucked because everything about me is fucked. To be fair. Shoot him!
Jesus. Those guys are no joke. <laughs> He's still alive. Don't you dare faint again. Keep your eyes open. to use medical attention. Do you know a Reaper dog whom you can trust? I know someone. We must get the Reaper dog quickly. <laughs> uh, Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone, anyone. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Bex. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit that vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. Thank God we got to fix this. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! <sighs> Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. Fuck. This may even be split into two episodes. It's high. Mm, the gravity of what's happening right now. How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. I think I'm pretty much catatonic at this point. <laughs> feeling Fuck. I don't know Vic. the years of rain and then I'm seeing shit these hallucinations describe them to me blinding lights 
It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic and I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then I promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. They killed me, Vic. Never been so afraid. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right, Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't omit a thing. Not one deep. Okay. There was... is... a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. You are Dr. Victor, and I'm your monster. <laughs> Perfect. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? Well, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Can't we just take the chip out or switch it off? Either way is out of the question, you die immediately. I remember this thing, saw it on TV. Oh, it was this stupid slogan? Soul something. Secure your soul. That's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Vic, you've always come through for me. 
there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. Poof. Fucking heavy. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch? So he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? How did you stick a gun in my mouth? Pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? Gotta lie down. Misty seems like such a nice person. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Hmm. Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Misty, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you, like, lots. We got into a fight, right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. God damn. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Pretty 
did you even come from? How are we even talking? How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joint toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! you work for start talking fuck fuck that's weird we can control each other ship. rip the thing out myself no wait This is so amazingly effective in a video game context because you usually have control when it's taken away from you like that it's it's incredibly effective oh fuck that Ugh. see you never asshole now like that stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger I can feel it. Our minds touching. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Get out! Just get the fuck out! Led to the head only thing that Fix this. Hear me, bitch. A bullet to the fucking brain. Oof. Act two. Too worse for wear, all things considered. It's all the shit I stole, good to know. Not a bad pistol, actually. I'll actually keep what I got. Um. I don't think those are actually the pants I'm wearing. There we go.
That's a bit glitchy. There we go. It's a ridiculous looking hat. Alrighty then. I guess we're gonna head out. Um, I've got- I would have separated this into two videos, by the way. God damn. There's someone to wait. Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already tolled. Thomas Dyer, I am waiting. All right, we're back. So I did a bunch of um, selling, all that kind of stuff, uh, buying, selling, all that kind of stuff. So we're sitting on inventory now. We have this pistol, this sniper rifle, and this knife. This was my old sniper rifle. It's still pretty crap. Um, I need some more components before I can upgrade it. Uh, this is what we're rocking for stuff we're wearing. I'm wearing these glasses just because they give me armor. Um, other than that, nothing particularly of interest. Read the message from Mega Building H1, uh, H10 administration. Now I want to go back up again. I'm going to cut this elevator ride out both ways. Hey, get back here. What's going on? I live right upstairs. Just keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. This is cool. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petropa. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Did you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. That's a cool quest. <sighs> cool that I have Jackie's bike, but oh. Um, alright, so a couple of things. Journal. This one I want to do. I don't usually give advice, but fuck it, here goes. Don't make the same mistakes I do. Say goodbye to the people you love, you know what I mean, right? Jackie Wells was your best tune, and you don't find a lot of straight up peeps like that in, in Night City. Best thing you can, can is remember them. Oh, and one more thing. If anyone asks... I didn't just say all that to you, got it? D? 
been a long time since you got gone. Drive, sun since Jackie passed away. Way, Wanted to call you before, but Mama. Soak in that sun while you can. There's a cold frost moving in. You know how it is. You had other important things on your mind. Hmm? Maybe that. What's the matter? Just wanted to know how, you know, you were holding up. No good, B. Parents should not bury their own children. Hmm. I can't even do this. Mira, don't worry. I take care of myself. I suppose you still do what you... Oh, what you did before. Just promise me you won't get yourself killed, okay? May he watch over you, Mia. Hmm. That's just depressing. I level up. I suppose. Um... Uh, handgun bumping, I guess. Extra damage is good. Alright, we're back. So, let's do this human nature quest, I suppose, and get my car. Something feels off here. You don't say. I don't mean the wreck, I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur up and drives away from the scene of an accident. Interesting. Very interesting. Weird. Uh, v, my favorite mocha, Galena, I'm selling. Hasn't been driven much. Guy who owned it in the last 10 years was paranoid as shit for going outside because he was afraid they would zero him. Casta sat unloved for all that time, but you can't escape fate, right? Stray led. Stray lead caught them through his window. All the stories, he can't grab life by the fucking balls, so don't be so don't be no Scrooge. Whip up your cred shit and buy this baby. Interesting. So I do need I need a new car, obviously. Um interesting. Weird. Delamain HQ, huh? Um, a fixture sent you an offer to buy a vehicle, whether you, offer, whether you receive an offer, a new marker will appear on your mini-map. To buy the vehicle, go to the indicated location and confirm your purchase. Cool. Don't mean HQ is ages away. Like, legitimately ages away. I'm going to first meet with Takahata, considering he's right here. Takamura, rather. I nearly jumped straight off that. Takamura is like a hundred meters away, so I can go talk to him. It's right in front of a car, but it's okay, because I'm fast as fuck, boy! Tom's Diner. Weird place to meet a... Japanese hard man. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then. In the car. I doubt it you would survive. Weird. My frame rate just went to shit. Why'd you help me anyway? 
I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Suspect so, yeah. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but... She showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A Brain lie detector? Jack. Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. He might be more sly than this I was giving him credit. This question can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Listen. No, tough guy, you listen. It's people like you two that have brought this country to its knees. Taken our land, our jobs, our fucking dignity. But I own this place and here I decide. So finish your tea and get the fuck out. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. 
He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. I like Your this job, guy. basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. <laughs> Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Hellman defect. Why are you looking for I accidentally Hellman? did the wrong one. He Corporal Rat squeal. For I was quickly. I've never skipped before. That's a really cool way of experience. Should we take you for a suit? Rogue's well in. I wish you. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I mean, my plan is to force her to help me. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. I like this guy. Hey, Johnny. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't got to speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Oh, that's something. Fuck yourself, dick wipe. <laughs> hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. 
wrestling with your thoughts, memories, think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things, think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogel dance to any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. What was that? I am going to call Judy. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find out. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. Are you Lizzie's? Good to know. Alright, a couple of things I want to do here. Um, what is this? Domain. Um, Hellman. Automatic love. Oh. Wait for the car to be repaired. That's an easy one to do. Um. Uh, this one here I want to do. Which involves me going home. Which is relatively close. Um, I'll cut and I'll be there. Um, also. <laughs> you know what? I think actually, I've changed my mind. That's going to be the end of the episode. I've just been enraptured in playing, so I just want to keep doing it. However, that's, uh, I've now been recording for two hours. I'm going to split this up into two episodes. Um, the Johnny Silverhand stuff afterwards is going to be episode two, which you no doubt know because, well, I mean, you just watched it. So I don't know why I'm explaining wh whatever. <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cool, this game just got better, which is saying something because I was really enjoying it beforehand, but now. Woo! We up there, boys. Alright, see you guys.